Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. This service is emanating from the sanctuary of the Fellow Baptist Church located at 4717 Augusta Road here in Garden City, Georgia. Thank God for Pastor Harold Edwards, the senior pastor, Pastor Emmanuel Gray, Pastor Victor Logan, and Pastor Arnold Matthews. We thank God, amen, for this beautiful Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to all of the fathers, and may the Lord bless you real good. Our men's music department, amen, will come and lead us further in the Lord's service. In Jesus' name. I got Jesus. 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 I got
Oh, anybody got Jesus? I got Jesus. 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 I got Jesus. got Jesus. I got Jesus. You got a mighty good friend. I got Jesus. If you got Jesus, I got Jesus. You got a mighty good doctor. I got Jesus. If you got Jesus, I got Jesus. You got a lawyer in the courtroom. I got Jesus. Can I ask y'all a question here? I got Jesus. Can I ask y'all a question here? I got Jesus. Oh, anybody got Jesus? 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 I got Jesus. I see if you got Jesus. I got Jesus. Let me hear you clap your hands. Let me hear you clap your hands. I got Jesus. Let me hear you clap your hands. I got Jesus. You got Jesus. I 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 got Jesus. I
I come on, let's have a good time. I come on, let's have a good time. I come on, let's have a good time. I got one more thing I want to say. I did you come here to have a good time? I did you come here to have a good time? How many kids have a have a good time? How many kids have a have a good time? That you really wanna have a good time? Do you really wanna have a good time? God wants you to have a good time. God wants you to have a good time. Do you really wanna have a good time? Do you really wanna have a good time? You wanna turn around and tell somebody. Turn around and tell somebody. God wants you to have a good time. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's have, 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 let's God wants you to have a good time. God wants you to have a good time. Come on, children, let's have a good time. All you gotta do is get Jesus. Gotta get Jesus on your mind. Listen, everybody, we got to get with one accord. Jesus will be there. You can count on the Lord. Thank you. Let's 
church in here today. Yeah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Dear Lord, we come before you this day to thank you, Lord, for bringing us all here together today to praise and worship you and be in your presence. We thank you and ask you now, Lord, to bless the offering that we have taken up and let it be used for your glory. And we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Great big hand clap of praise. Not only does God have a blessing, but He has many blessings through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So we give Him all the thanks this morning as He has brought us into another hour of worship. In spite of what we've been through, glory to God, that we're still standing by the grace of Almighty God. And we are going to continue to stand according to his will. So we say all the time that when the work is over, the work is over. But until the work is over, I don't care what it looks like. I don't care what you're going through. We're going to be here. So we praise his holy name this morning. Amen. Amen. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers. Let's give them a hand clap. We thank God for spiritual fathers, amen. We thank God for saved men who have led their home and continue to lead their home in the way of the Lord this morning. We realize that without good spiritual fathers in a home, uh, the home struggles. God ordained it to be that way. So we do give God thanks for the fathers on this day. Also, we, our church family has been uh, stricken with bereavement. In the passing of Sister Margaret Brown, glory to God, we thank God for the life of, of Sister Brown, and we're going to ask that you lift up the Brown and the Bates family uh, in prayer with your prayers. Amen. Amen. Uh, when we get further information concerning the homegoing service, we will uh, announce it uh, uh, to you. All right? Amen. At this time, we are going to uh, call you to worship, and we are going to move right along in our program. Let us pray. Father, we just thank you today for your goodness and your grace and your mercy and your kindness and all those things that uh, make you who you are. Father, we thank you through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for this hour of worship, Lord God, that you brought us together in his holy name once again, that we might come together in fellowship, one with another, but most of all with you, and that we might be able to lift up the name of Jesus Christ by the grace that is given unto us. We thank you, O Lord, for the strength that is in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. More than anything, Lord God, we thank you for the opportunity this day, a day that you have made that we can rejoice and be glad in it, opportunities to praise and to magnify your holy name, an opportunity to lift up the name of Jesus Christ as only we can by the grace of God. 
We thank you, O Lord, for those who were sick that you have delivered, Lord God. We thank you for those who were downtrodden. But by your grace, you have lifted their spirits up this morning. Many that were not here in this place, but glory to God, they're here again this morning. We thank you, O Lord, for the grace that is given to the families that are, have gone through bereavement or, and that are in the midst of bereavement, knowing that your grace is sufficient and that you're going to see them through. For you are the almighty God, the one that is able to do all things but fail. And that's why we worship you with all our hearts. So again, Lord God, we thank you for the encouragement. We thank you for the grace. Now be with us in this hour that we might worship in a way that is pleasing unto you. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, we do say amen, 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 amen. and amen. Our scripture reading this morning will be coming from the book of Ephesians, chapter 5, beginning at verse 14. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 14. We're going to ask that you would stand with us as we declare the reading of God's word. Bear with us. We know it is a little warm. I just found out that one of the air conditioning units is not working, but uh, we're going to be all right. Amen? Amen. Amen. Ephesians 5, verse 14. And the word of God reads, And it is appropriate to the times that we're living. Wherefore he said, Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead, and Christ shall give thee light. Mm -hmm. See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. I think we all can attest to the fact that yeah. the days that we're living in are days that are days like we've never seen before, yeah. with all that is going on. Wherefore, be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. And be not drunk with wine wherein is excess, but be filled with the Spirit. Speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. Mm -hmm. Giving thanks always for all things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Submitting yourselves one to another in the fear of Almighty God. Amen? You may take your seats in the presence of the Lord. This time we are going to ask Sister Beverly Deaton to come forward. It is also our a recognition of our seniors. Our education program has our graduation program also today. So she's going to come and make the presentation to our uh, honored uh, graduates today. Amen? Amen? Let's give her a hand clap as she comes to do that. Good morning. Good morning. I greet you all in the name of our Father, the Holy Spirit, and so glad for you to be here today. Um, happy Father's Day to all our fathers. And today we're going to honor our graduates. We have, uh, since normally we have a full blown out service for our graduates, but due to the restrictions, the COVID restrictions that we have at the church, we have to dial it down back a little bit so graduates please don't feel bad about it Amen. okay we love you but we got to follow the protocols Amen. our first graduate is uh tiana bonita dilworth we know her as annie right. step come up annie <laughs> Annie is a graduate of Jenkins High School. She is the daughter of Troy and Linda Dilworth, and Annie has enlisted in the United States Navy. Let's give her a hand. <laughs> Annie, as president of the education ministry, we just want you to know that we love you. We appreciate everything you've done with Fairlawn Baptist Church, including the dance ministry and all that good stuff. And this is a small token, but don't leave because the check is not in here. The train has our financial secretary held up. So don't leave. We have to put the money in there. But we just want you to know we love you and God bless you. Amen. Amen. Great job. Great job. Great job. Our second graduate is Mr. Draven Criswell. All right. Come on up, Draven. Yeah. 
Draven is a student at was a student at Beach High School. He's the daughter, he's the son of India Spellman and the son of the de, of the deceased Mr. Jimmy Criswell. Draven is also considering joining the United States Navy. And Draven is also actively involved in our youth choir. He's also one of our youth um, ministry members, very active. So with this love offering from the church, Draven, like I told Andy, don't leave because your jacket's not in here yet. Um, we just want you to know that we love you. We appreciate everything you've done and still going to do for Fairline Baptist Church. May God bless you and happy, happy. Thank you. Come on, let's give him another big hand clap of praise. Amen. Come on, let's stand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, 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 yes. We thank God for your accomplishment. Amen. We know that there are greater things to come. As you sit there and I look back uh, some 50 years, I, I remember going through, maybe not in church, but I remember going through the, the, the same recognition that you're going through now, uh, accomplishing graduating from high school. You know, sometimes we think, well, it's nothing to that, uh, but it is a lot. It says a lot because a lot of people don't make it through uh, to graduation. So we thank God again for you and the accomplishment that you made. And I know that in the future, you're just going to continue to excel to heights even higher. But always remember, Put Jesus first. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Let the Lord guide your way. You'll follow the steps that he has ordered for you. Your life will be a success. Come on now. There you go. All right, preacher. <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. 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 All right. Now we got all of that out of the way. The next voice you're going to hear is our minister for this morning, uh, Minister Victor Logan. He's going to come with the word of God. So let us open up our hearts, ears, and minds to receive the engrafted word of God, which is able to deliver us. Amen. Amen. said let us rejoice and be glad in it I am so glad to be here on this day this day this father's day this day where we recognize all fathers amen fathers grandfathers uh, even stepfathers that, that that stepped in in a place of fathers when they're absent yeah, amen yeah, yeah, yeah. we thank you um, pastor just said he remembers back when he graduated I didn't graduate. I was one of those that, that got out before I graduated. But I, I entered military service. And when you, when you go in, they make sure that you get your education. So I got my GED in the United States Army. And I did my 20 years and retired from that. Amen. Because at first when I got out, I had no direction. And as has been said before, I was out. I wasn't doing bad things, but I wasn't doing anything good at all. Amen. 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 Got a call from my father and he said I was living with my mother at the time. What you going to do with your life, son? Sure. And, you know, a typical teenage, 19 at the time, I don't know. He said, I tell you what, you got four choices. Army, Navy, Air Force, or Marine. You pick one. 
Amen. Took the Air Force test. I missed it by a couple of points. Took the Army test, and the rest is history. Amen. If you can't choose a direction sometime for yourself, other people will choose one for you. Right. Yeah. Not always a good one. All right. Sometimes you have people that's good looking out for your interests will help guide you in the right path. But there are those out there that's ready to drag you down, to keep you in the muck, and not let you succeed. So have direction for yourself. As I said, if not, someone will have direction for you. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for all that you have done and all that you are about to do. Lord, I ask that you allow me to decrease so that you may increase, Lord. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. Lord, we thank you that you, you loved us so much you gave your only begotten son that in his name, the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Our scripture today comes from first the book of Ephesians, chapter 6, starting at verse 1. And then we'll go to the book of John 5, starting at verse 19. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Let us stand. Mm. And it reads as such, Ephesians 6, 1. Children, obey your parents in the Lord. For this is right. Honor thy father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise, that it may be well with thee and thou mayest live long on the earth. There's a reason and there's a reward. Amen. Honor your parents, that it may be well with you. John 5 and 19. Verily, verily, I say unto you, the son can do nothing of himself but what he seeth the Father do. <coughs> For what things soever he doeth, these also doeth the Son likewise. For the Father loveth the Son, and showeth him all things that himself doeth, and he will show him greater works than these that ye may marvel. For as the Father rises up the dead and quickeneth them, even so the Son quickeneth whom he will. For the Father judges no man, but have committed all judgment unto the Son, uh -huh. that all men, all men should honor the Son, even Amen. as they honor the Father. Amen. For he that honoreth not the Son, honoreth not the Father, which hath sent him. Right. You may be seated. Amen. Amen. Chapter 6 of Ephesians says, Honor thy father and thy mother. We're going to focus on fathers today. All right. Amen. Amen. Right. Amen. The mothers have their day. Yes. Yes. That we will focus on them. Now, honor and obey your parents, your fathers, as because they've been appointed over you. All parents are not excellent. Mm -hmm. There's no book that they pass out on how to be a parent. Amen. There's no rules and regulations. There is no right way and a wrong way. There is a way. And each has to find his own way. So we have to live with that hand, so to speak, that we've been dealt. We can't choose our parents. The parents don't choose their children. But if the parents are trusting in the Lord, and if they bring their children up in the same way, then both will be on the same sheet of music, so to speak. All you musicians know what happens if one is on this page and one is on the other page, and there's no harmony. It, it sounds terrible if everybody's not playing the same thing at the same time. Uh, we, we all don't maybe have the, the, the blessing to grow up in a household to where both parents and, and all children and everybody knows the Lord. Uh -huh. Amen. Right. But God is there anyway. Right. He's there guiding us. And there's somebody, it may be an auntie, it may be a grandparent, that somebody will put that word in their ear. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that they know 
what is the right thing to do? Hallelujah. Honor thy father and mother. Honor. Honor. Respect. That's what, that's what it means. Give them respect. Give them, give, listen to them. Do the right thing. Hopefully, they are listening to their father. Fathers bring up their children so their children can bring up their children. Right. Amen. Amen. Train up a child in the way he should go. Yes. So that when he is older, he'll do the right thing. This is a special day to me because, one, my, my father is no longer here with me. But even though my natural biological father was not here, God provided others that stepped in yeah. and yeah. filled that place in my heart. All right. That yeah. stepped in and gave me guidance and guided me. Yeah. Uh, one of the, one of the uh, my dear friends, uh, when I was in Tremont, we was on the male choir together, and we we started out with a with a we had a misunderstanding, but we came together as brothers in Christ, and we settled that misunderstanding, and he became a mentor All right. to me. Uh, now I'm 65, he's 95. All right. uh, but still, I call him up and, and I talk to him and he provides me with that strength that I need. God will provide yeah. what you need. Yes, he will. Amen. Amen. If you give him the honor. Now we were just talking about honor thy, thy parents, thy biological father and mother, but now we're going to go to a spiritual father. John 5, 22. For the father judges no man, but has committed all judgment unto the son, that all men should honor the son even as they honor the father. He that honors not the son honors not the father that hath sent him. Jesus Christ came down on this earth as an example to us of God's love for us. All right. But what Jesus did, and in everything he did, he made it known to us that he did it not of his own volition. Uh -huh. Everything that he did, he did at the Father's direction. That's right. Come on, preacher. He let us know That it wasn't about him. Mm -hmm. It was about his father. If we go to the book of John 8 and 54. Let me sure I got my right place. John 8, 54 reads, If I honor myself, my honor is nothing. It is my father that honoreth me, of whom you say that he is your God. Jesus performed miracles. Jesus healed the sick, mm -hmm. raised the dead, made the lame to walk, mm -hmm. the dumb to talk. He did all miracles. But everything that he did, he, he made it known that it was not his will, all right. but his Father's will. He gave all honor to the Father. Everything that he is about is about the Father. When we go stand before the judgment seat, we stand before the Father. But the father is not judging us. He's judging his son in us. He doesn't see us. And a part of his son that he sees is the spirit. God sent Jesus. Jesus sent the spirit to live in us. Mm -hmm. Amen. Giving honor to Jesus is also giving honor to God. Amen. When we say giving honor, that means let people know who it is that help you get where you are. Let them know that you didn't do this by yourself. Let them know that in all things that you do, you do it because God has made it able for you to do that. I've learned over actually my spiritual life that we think a lot of things in our head. And it doesn't matter what we think. If you think that you're married to your wife, but you never tell nobody, 
How are they going to know? Come on, come on, preach it. Things, the words, there's power, life and death, and the power of the tongue. You have to speak it into life. Once it comes out, other people can hear it, then it's made known. There's a lot of things going in on the inside. But if you don't bring it outside, then it's not made manifest. Yeah. Amen? Amen? So you have to speak it. When you talk to God, you just can't just think it to yourself. You have to speak it. When you ask God for something, you have to speak it so that he knows. Because it's coming out of your brain, through your heart, and out of your mouth. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. All those things, you don't think everything is going on in your brain. Thank God I don't. Or there's something that's going on in my mind that I don't even want to hear. <laughs> Amen. Come on, Come on let's, say, let's tell the truth here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But when it comes out, your mouth is out there. So sometimes we have to have a filter yeah. on what we say. Because once it's said, it's said and done. Amen. 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 So when we honor our Father, we have to let the words of our mouth come out. We have to let everybody know, thank you, Jesus. I'm where I am because of the power of God and God's love and the Son's love. And he helped me through where I am. Yes. A lot of people say giving honor to God. But also, let me tell you, <coughs> the words of your mouth have to be followed up or rooted in the conviction of your heart. Amen. A lot of people say things they don't mean. They just say it. But you have to be careful what you say because there's power in words. There's power in words when you speak God's word. There's power in God's word. Amen. When we take that word into us and we speak it out, there's power in that. Power. So we have to. So we have to give honor to God. Preface what we are, all of our accomplishments. We have what we have because of the grace of God. Yeah. We know that when we leave here, where are we going? Uh -huh. Those that do believe know where they go. Yeah. Those that aren't sure hope they get where they want to go. Right. Amen. Amen. You ask some people that you think know God, they profess to be God, they've been in church all their life. If you die today, where are you going? And sometimes you get the answer, I hope I'm going to heaven. I've been sending up. I've been trying hard. I've been working hard. I've been working in the church. I've been giving my tithes. I've been, I've been helping the sick and the lame and the poor. And, and, and I hope when I stand before the pearly gates, they let me in. If you got to get to the pearly gates, before you figure out if you're going to get in or not, I don't think you're going to make it. That's like getting on the road 95 and then trying to figure out where you're going. And come to find out you need to be on I-16 going west instead of 95 going north. You got to know where you're going before you leave where you're at. Before you leave this place, you have to know where you're going to wind up on the other side. Amen. Amen. And the way to do that is giving honor to your father. Amen. Amen. <coughs> Listen to his words. Listen to what it is he has to say. Respect him. Let him lead you and guide you in all things that you do. Jesus Christ said, I do nothing without the will of God. He even says, when I ask, are you the son? How do we know that we haven't seen the father? Well, he said, if you have seen me, you've seen the father. Mm -hmm. There are some people you can look at and say, and you might never seen them before. And you say, aren't you so-and-so's son? Right. You look just like his daddy. <laughs> Amen. Amen. There's something you can't deny mm -hmm. three times. And I also heard it said that if you feed them long enough, they look like you. They start to act like you. So what should I tell you? 
If we've been eating from the word of God, we'll start to look like him. People should be able to look at us and see God. We shouldn't even have to tell them. I've heard my pastor say on many occasions, people come and say, are you a preacher? He didn't, he didn't have no preacher on his, on his head or and he wasn't wearing no t-shirt or wasn't wearing a cross or nothing like that. It's just the way he walked and the way he talked. Just the spirit just oozing out of him. What do people see when they look at you? Not what you hope they see. But sometimes what you think they see ain't really it. Because people can see past all the, the glamour. Especially those that have the, the spirit in them. It helps you see the yeah. truth. Yeah. Yeah. If we realize that on this world, this world is governed by the father of lies. The, he rules this world. Yeah. And you, you can't recognize those lies unless you have the truth in you. Amen. Once you have the truth of the spirit in you, then you can see it coming from a mile away. Mm -hmm. Things that come to confuse you, you won't let it even get near you. Mm -hmm. Because the spirit will help you identify that. And you don't have to put up with that foolishness, amen? amen. I, I remember before I was in the Word, and, and, and those people, I, I feel sorry for them, that, that now listen to that, the Internet, listen to this newscast and that newscast and this chat room and, and the other things. I have people at work that listen to this one site, and they're all one-sided. Mm. They're all telling them about things, and they're eating it up. They're not getting any verification from anywhere else. Right. Any major news, it should be verified by, by different sources. If you're getting all your news from one source mm. and you're not verifying it, <clears throat> even the Bible tells you study to show thyself approved. Amen. Forsake you not the assembly of one another. Right. Amen. Amen. Verify what you've been told. Mm. Look up the scripture. Amen. Even what I just said. Look up the scripture that I'm reading from. Go back and look at it and see if, if, if I know what I'm talking about. Yes, sir. Because far be it from me, I'm only human. Mm -hmm. I make mistakes. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Sometimes I may say something and, and, uh, and you ever hear somebody give you a scripture and then they start reading and they're reading from a whole different scripture? Yeah. Yeah. Get confused sometimes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay? Because sometimes you look at the top of the page and it shows you one scripture, but the, the other scripture starts at the bottom and you give out the wrong information. So you have to verify yes. what you hear. Yes. Yes, verify what you've been told. Read for yourself. Right. Seek out God for yourself. Honor Jesus Christ. By honoring the Son, you honor the Father. Yes. Back in the Old Testament, everything came from God himself through his prophets. Amen. Amen. Then as we move through and Jesus Christ came upon the earth, right. now we enter into grace. Right. And everything comes through the Son. Right. Nothing, you can't get to the Father. You can't get to heaven unless you go through the door, which is Jesus Christ. Amen. If you don't listen to him and obey his commandments, right. love one another. Amen. Go out and spread the good word then you will not see the kingdom of heaven. Mm. How do you see the kingdom of heaven? You confess with your mouth yeah. and believe in your heart. When you say confess with your mouth, that means you got to hear it. Mm. The words have to come out. Yeah. Okay, you just, and you have to believe in what you're saying. Oh, yeah. you, you listen to somebody that, that's reading from a, a script or they, they get a sermon and just reading it. They have no conviction behind the words. But you listen to somebody that, that, that has a passion. And you can tell they believe in every word they're saying. Because they have studied and have taken it in their heart. And it's coming through their heart and then it's coming out of their mouth because they believe it 100%. And, and I will hope as I stand here before you that you see my belief coming out that I believe in Jesus Christ as the Son of God, believe him as my Lord and Savior, amen, amen. that I have already confessed him and that, that I'm working to do his will, to yes. spread the gospel. Yes. 
to feed his sheep. Yeah. That, that he appointed me to teach his children. That's a big responsibility, yes, it is. teaching the child, because a child is trusting. They trust you 100%. And the day that you lose the trust of that child is bad. I mean, they can't trust you no more. If the day ever comes that we can't trust the word of Jesus Christ, it's a bad day. Because then we have to understand, uh, look into our hearts and see is that really Jesus Christ we've been listening to the whole time? Mm -hmm. Jesus said he'll never leave you nor forsake you. He cannot lie. He's the same today as he was yesterday and as he will be tomorrow and forevermore. Yes. As I hasten to close, and I, I try to use that literally, I've heard some preachers say as I hasten to close and 30 minutes later, they still talk. <laughs> but I ain't saying nothing about that. Sometimes the spirit gets in you and you yeah. think you're finished yeah. and you're not. Yeah. Yeah. You're not finished until God say you're through. Amen. 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 But, I, but I want each one of you to just look down into your heart and your soul and see. Do you really believe? Do you really trust? Do you really know who you're listening to? Do you know the Son? If you know the Son, you know the Father. Do you honor Him? Do you give Him your trust and your obedience? Do you listen to the words that is He has to say? If you let him order your steps, your way will be clear. <clears throat> Sometimes you don't, may not know where you're going, but you need to know who it is you're following, yeah. who you put yourself in. Amen. You ever just go with somebody and just say, come on, and you don't ask them where they're going? You just follow them because you trust them. If you don't know them, you don't trust them, and they say, come on, you say, where are we going? How are we going to get there? What are we going to do when we get there? But when Jesus Christ calls you and you have this trust, you don't ask him. Because you know he will not take you nowhere that's going to be detrimental to you. He will not lead you nowhere to something that he can't lead you through. Amen. Amen. And along the way, you will impact somebody else's life. Yes. They will see. They may not see him, but they see what he is doing through you. Amen. Amen. If someone can't look at you and see him, then you may need to look at yourself in the mirror and find out what it is you're doing wrong. Maybe you need to tighten up. Yeah. Pastor tell me all the time, Logan, you need to tighten up. And I trust him to do that. I trust him to tell me instead of going behind my back and say that Logan, he just all screwed up. He don't need, a good friend will tell you rather than tell other people about you. Amen. We'll pull you up short and whisper in your ear when you're wrong. Amen. And lead and guide you. Amen. And even when you're down and out and you can't do nothing for them, they're there for you. Amen. I don't, I don't know how many times I've called my pastor up. <laughs> if you think it's too many now, just wait to the future. There's more to come. Because you'll never stop being my friend. Once I confess myself and believe myself in Jesus Christ, I have a friend. Greater love has no man than he give his life for a friend. Jesus Christ gave his life for us. For me. Amen. For me personally, I, I can't speak for you. Uh, I, 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 wait a minute, let me, let me back up. I can speak that he gave his life for you, right. but I can't speak to whether you believe it or not. Amen. I can only speak to myself that I believe, right. that I trust. If 
that I obey. As we look again on this Father's Day, as we honor our parents, our biological fathers, grandfathers, stepfathers, those friends that stand with us and, 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 and be a father figure. Let us not forget our Father who art in heaven. For hallowed be his name. The kingdom come, his will be done. In earth as it is in heaven. And as he feeds us his daily bread. And we get our strength from the word of God. Amen. Let us go about our day. Amen. You may stand. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the words that have come forth this day. Maybe it reached somebody's heart, Lord. Maybe someone heard something that, that allowed them to realize that they need you. Lord, there's someone there that, 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 that's got something from this day. Then hallelujah, my task is done. But that's just for this day and this hour. Lord, I ask you to continue to strengthen me. Continue to strengthen those within the sound of my voice. That they do your will. That they confess you as their Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. There may be someone that has heard a word today and would like to give their life to Christ. Won't you come? Maybe someone that's been thinking, I'm saved, I'm going to heaven. But if you never confess it with your mouth, we give you the opportunity to do. Maybe someone looking for a church home. Somebody looking to fellowship. You can join us here as we teach the word of God. But if you don't have a church home, I just implore you, you don't have to come to prayer line, but you need to find somewhere where they're preaching the word of God. Amen. If there's not one, you have anything else you say? Hold it. Just take a seat. Oh, I feel like praising, praising him. Oh, I feel like praising, praising him. Oh, praise Him in the morning, praise Him all day long. Yes, I feel like praising. Put your hands together. Oh, I feel like praising, praising Him. Oh, I feel like praising, praising Him. Oh, praise Him in the morning, praise Him all day long. Oh, I feel like praising. Now put your hands together and clap a little while. Oh, praise him in the morning. Praise him all day long. Oh, I feel like praise. One more time. Yes, I feel like praise and praise him. Oh, I feel like praise and praise him. Praise him all day long. Oh, I see like praise and praise him. Yeah. 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 Clap your hands one more time. Kind Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we thank you for this service. Thank you, God, for these graduates. We thank you, God, for the accomplishments that they've made. We pray, Lord, your blessings upon them as they endeavor to move forward with their lives. Let your power and your anointing be released upon them in the name of Jesus. Cover them with the blood, oh God, and protect them from danger, seen and unseen. You know the road, and you will carry the load. Carry them, oh God. In the name of the Lord, we pray that you will bless all fathers, 
Oh, God, in this room and those who are listening by way of digital platforms. Now, Lord, as we go through this week, cover us with your blood. Lead us and guide us. Order your, our steps according to your word. In the name of Jesus, we can't do anything without you. Now, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, rest with the bad henceforth now and forevermore. Let the redeemed of the Lord sing together. Amen. Amen.